Hey y'all, it's me, Curly K Glam, and I'm back with another video. So today I will just be giving my thoughts on Eternals. Um, not really sure what I'm going to say, but I'm just going to pretty much wing it because honestly and truthfully, I was confused almost the whole movie. Me and my husband, and I don't know. Um, I did watch a ton of videos to figure out you know, what was going to happen moving forward in terms of the multiverse. And watching this movie, I'm not really sure what the what the multiverse has to do with the Eternals. I'm not, because for, for the most part, um, everybody, everybody has been dealing with maybe a variant of themselves. And so I thought that, um... I'm not. I'm not seeing the vision Marvel Marvel's making right now. I'm. I'm not, especially with um Spider Man Spider Man coming out after the Eternals. I also could see that the Eternals is going to set itself up for Eternals two, and also set it up for the Black Knight because of course Cersei was dating the Black Knight, but of course she was called by a rich Arish, a rich <laughs> Aramis before he could tell her his family lineage because of course you know she bought him that ring from another dimension but he had no clue because he asked her he was like are you a wizard like dr strange but she couldn't explain to him what exactly he was but at this point everybody in the world believes anything now because if, at first of course nobody believed in wizards nobody believed in aliens nobody believed in none of that in the marvel cinematic universe but now the citizens of these places you know it's like at this point anything can happen <laughs> so i just thought it was weird first of all i knew that zero c and icarus were married and I knew that they loved each other but I didn't think that for the most part during the movie they were they wouldn't be together um I knew to background on fastos and I knew that he had his own family and that he basically was living his life um sprite was living with Cersei and Ajax or Cersei in London and then Icarus was just low he was nowhere to be found um he was gone he left Cersei and didn't tell her anything and then Kingo um, was living his best Bollywood life. And Gilgamesh and Athena were basically staying together because Athena would have all of these um, relapses in her memory or something. And it would cause her to like backlash on everybody. And so he was the one who would keep her calm. And then Ajax, the leader, she was just, you know, living her life. And at one point, you know, the Celestials told the Eternals, each universe had Eternals, and each Eternal was supposed to defend the universe from the Deviants. So come to find out, you know, once I got to the end of the movie, that Aramis created the Deviants, and Aramis created the Eternals, and basically the Deviants were like one step down from the Eternals. And they didn't know that. And um, when it came down to Xerxes appearing to Ar Ar Aramis or whatever his name was, he basically told her everything and she could not believe it. And I think that's kind of the same thing that Ajax went through when she first found out. But when she told Icarus, that was a big mistake. And um, Icarus ended up basically offing her, feeding her to the Deviants, letting the Deviants, you know, suck all her powers out, which... I thought was strange because they were supposed to be more powerful than them so they they were taking the powers the deviants were taking the powers and were morphing themselves into it kind of reminded me of how um Ultron when Ultron would have upgrade in his server he would know more and more about you know everyone and, and to the point where one of them deviants the deviant who Thena ended up fighting at the end of the movie where she sliced and diced him when I was waiting for her to have a, a lapse so she could slice and dice him um he tried to take on Gilgamesh talking about some Thena you know who I am you know trying to get so he could suck her power out and she remembered because for some reason out of 
all of them she was the only one who had memories of stuff like that and i don't know why but everybody else's memory was wiped clean and she remembered everything she remembered everything from the beginning of time and so um he ended up very much sounding like Ultron. It was giving me very much Ultron when Ultron was talking to Vision and when Ultron was even explaining himself to Tony Stark because basically Ultron was a, a piece of Tony Stark. Like he, he, he was created after Tony Stark. And so even when he caught himself saying things, he was like, oh my God, you know, I sound like Tony Stark, you know? But um, I was very much confused. I did not understand, you know, I under, I liked, oh, okay, before I get there, I liked that Marvel had another deaf character. I thought that was very interesting, and I like how Marvel is trying to be inclusive of everyone from all walks of life, including those that are physically handicapped, because, of course, you know, in the last series, Echo is deaf. Um... But in terms of the storyline, um, I, me and my husband were just lost because we didn't understand um, the, the point of the Eternals. And if they knew the whole thing with Thanos was happening, why didn't they get involved? Even somebody in the movie asked them why didn't they get involved, you know? I need to turn on the light because clearly the sun is going down and it's getting dark. That didn't really help. <laughs> that didn't really help. But, um, so yeah, I just thought it was really weird because, um, Y'all, I'm going to have to change that. It didn't help. Okay, much, much better. So... I just didn't understand the whole point of the plot. For example, like, um, I didn't understand what the purpose of the deviants, I mean, of the Eternals were, because they made it seem like they went from, it basically seemed like a, um, a cosmic TVA almost. Kind of like, do you remember when um, Loki, when we watched the Loki series, the TVA always went to different branches of reality that an alternate timeline was created and they would go and reset the timeline. So basically with the deviant, I mean with the, with the internals, anytime there was a deviant involved or something catastrophic happened, they intervened. So I was just like, are, so are these kind of like TVA, or are they kind of like the Cosmic Avengers? Uh, so when they explain the whole Big Bang and the universe and everything, and how um, the, celest the Celestials created the Eternals, and the Eternals kind of found out that they were, um, they're not droids, but they kind of like, they weren't real. And they all thought that they were from Olympia, and Olympia, come to find out, they were all made in... They were kind of all made in this one big place and then they were dispersed to different universes. And so I just thought that was extremely interesting because then basically they were lied to. They were lied to the whole time. And so basically Aramish created something and he did a bad job at it. So he tried to fix it. And so that's what the Eternals were. The Eternals were basically like plan B, I guess, to try to fix whatever happened that he messed up. And so when Icarus ended up pushing Ajax down into Deviance and he knew what was going to happen, that's why it was hard for everybody else to believe 
that Ajax picked Shirshi instead of him because they thought he, since he was the most powerful Eternal, that of course it was no doubt about it with him being next in line. But I guess since he betrayed Ajax, Ajax knew she ended up giving herself to Xerxes, her powers to Xerxes. Shirshi. I just thought that was interesting. And the whole time, I just was like, I thought sure she was the weakest one. I just was not seeing it. She was kind of like the illusionist or something. Like, like when that bus turned into rose petals, I was just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Overall, I don't know if I'm going to watch Avengers 2, y'all. I'm just, I'm just going to be honest with you because I just don't know. I might watch, like, to be nosy, you know, but for pleasure, like, because I absolutely must see this, like, I just needed to go see Spider-Man, I don't know, like, I don't know, but what were your thoughts on Eternals, the Eternals movie, for those who just now are seeing it, because, you know, Eternals have been out for about two, three months now, but what were y'all thoughts on Eternals? Drop down below and leave me your comments. And I'll be back with more videos. This is... Mm.